Hello, everyone. I know this is a little weird for me to do a video like this, but uh, there were past videos and now people are yelling at me on those videos because of something I said. Now, some people know the story of me and Zodiac. For those of you who don't know, I met him on here and he was a pretty chill guy at first. I got to know him a bit, I know his real name, I know how old he is, and I know all of that good stuff. But what people don't understand is we both agreed on something on Overtone that I would stay out of his affairs. Basically by saying this, I basically was telling him, I will stay out of all of your arguments by running either all the way across the map or out of anything. Now, if you watched all the other videos that I had about Zodiac, you would understand where I'm coming from. You may act, he may act like a nice fellow, he, he actually is very nice, but think about it this way. His mentality is based off of his work mentality. Now working with your work mentality is a good thing to do, but when you bring it into where your friends are, it causes a lot of issues. I know he has a lot of medical issues as well, but come on, stressing yourself out. You you don't even fucking stress yourself out. You don't do it at all. Before your admins can fix anything or do anything, or even try and figure out what the fuck is going on, you've already solved the problem and you're like, I'm just gonna kick him. I'm just gonna ban him. They're, they're, they're never coming back. It, it, it's a weird mentality to have, to be completely honest. But when it comes to the workplace, it's a good work ethic. Because, one, you're always replaceable by the next person that walks through that door. And if you're not up to the snuff, they're going to fire you. But when it comes to friends, you need to stop seeing them as an object and see them more as a person that you want to hang around. Zodiac was a good person to hang around. He was one of the only people I actually physically talked to. I never talked in the overtone though, because 90 of those pe 9 percent of those people I never met on VR chat. I never knew them. I didn't know who they were, and I didn't even know their name. They just joined the chat, so I stayed quiet in the chat. I stayed quiet in the overtone and everything, because I was too nervous to talk. I'm a shy person in discords. I was a shy person on my Gary's Mod server. If you were to ask Benjamin and from my Gary's Mod server what I was like when I first joined the 187th Battalion, he would tell you the same thing. I said nothing. I said nothing until I made it to the rank of Corporal when I actually started physically doing tryouts and the moment I actually started talking was also during when I was going up for sergeant's testing. That was the only time I ever spoke. And then now I have to always speak because if I don't speak, no one's going to want to no one's going to know my orders and no one's going to listen. At this point in volume well, 7, nobody wants to listen to me because I'm never I'm rarely ever there and they all think my ideas are horrible. I even went through doing something with a bunch of different people to figure out what was the best way to board a lat and what was the best way to unboard a lat. I figured out the actual perfect method for boarding and unboarding the lat. But when I brought it up to someone, they're like, that's probably not going to work every single fucking time. Well, if the study shows the results of said study, it's like a scientist. If e each study you do can be disproven or proven by another scientist, you're golden because it just proves your theory more. If it's disproven by another scientist, it adds questions to what you did. Th this is sort of how it works, but it doesn't work that way with friends. The whole point of a friendship is to make a new friend that you can hang out with, who you can talk to, who you can trust. But the moment you start questioning that person's trust and then he said he has a video fully on forgiveness. I'm done to talk to him whenever. He he can hit me up on VR chat whenever he wants. Even though he's not on my friends list, 
He can hit me up whenever he wants. He banned me from ever entering into the overtone. I don't give a shit. I have Discord. I prefer Discord over everything else. I may have a Telegram, a Discord, and an overtone. But do I really use my overtone? The, re the only reason I was on overtone was because he was on overtone. And he was the only person I actually physically trusted. I thought he was a cool guy to hang around was pretty chill pretty nice and then when i wanted to introduce my friend pink to him who i knew longer and from my years mod server she was very she was very sweet she's very kind she's very giggly she tends to giggle a lot so i decided to introduce them and she was trying to go into the profession of a voice actor and since he had the experience in voice acting I thought it would be a good idea. I know this video sort of feels like a Scrubsy video. If you've never seen Scrubsy, go check him out, to be honest. It's just him telling stories. He has so many subs just from telling a story. Stuff that has happened to him. His neighbor is crazy. Completely and utterly crazy. The, the, that's most of his videos now, is his neighbor. His neighbor is crazy. I, I, I get that aspect out, but uh basically back onto my story is uh, a lot of stuff happens in terms of friendships you have good times and you have bad times the purpose of the friendship is not to reflect on who they are or what they do everybody has their flaws no one's 100% perfect and nobody can do everything you want them to do even if you think they are 100% an angel in disguise doesn't really mean that they are they could have a dark side you don't notice they could have a side that they keep hidden i told him i would stay out of his affairs and every single time he were to ban someone from the overtone or unfriend someone or get into an argument and after the argument he'd come to me which i was confused about because one I agreed to stay out of that stuff. I, I told him I was not going to be a part of that stuff. But yet he's still coming to me after all of that stuff has gone down. I'm like, okay, why do I need this weight on my shoulder now? I may be your admin, but doesn't really reflect me at all. It's not my life that it's reflecting, it's your life. The moment you push something onto someone else, and tell them about it, it adds weight onto their shoulder. To be completely honest, I had so much weight on my shoulder, I was stressed the fuck out. I barely made a video. Why did I barely make a video? Let's think about it. I was stressed. I was upset. He always brought things to my attention that I didn't really need to know about, to be completely honest. And, uh, yeah. He, he completely brought things up to me that I didn't really need to know. I enjoyed making videos with him. I enjoyed hanging out with him. I loved hanging out with him. He was a good person to hang around with. But the moment he made uh, Pink cry was the moment I drew the line, actually. Because I sort of see Pink Flowers as a little sister. I see her as a sister, to be completely honest. She's like a sister to me. So the moment you make her cry because you thought she was attacking you, 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 you don't just block people for blocking. You should always try to talk to the person and be like, hey, were you attending to be offensive? Hey, were you attending to mean this? He, he never even asked those questions. I didn't mean to be offensive in those past videos. I don't mean to be offensive in this video. It's just... There's a lot of confusion, I think, based on what I'm saying. In that video, I had never said that I hated him or that I had beef with him. I don't have any beef with him. That's the thing. You all think I do, but I do not. I have no beef with him whatsoever. I could give less of a shit. <clears throat> so basically, just calm yourselves down. It, this isn't a rant to just talk about 
everything that I've ever done with him. I mean, the first time I met him was in the Great Pug. It was it was a nice meeting and was a nice greeting. And to be completely honest, I was still a bit shy. I got a little bit more comfortable on VR chat, so I started talking in VR chat. And he came around when I had just started around talking in VR chat. So that that's how uh, I met him. So basically, he was the third person I had ever talked to in VR chat. I hadn't talked to many people at all. And uh, if I don't know you and you're in an overtone with me, I'm going to be more reluctant to not speak at all or even talk. Because one, I don't know you. Two, I barely know anything about you. And it, I sort of try and build trust up. And I'll tell something personal about me and you tell something personal about yourself. And it sort of builds up this trust. I told him something super personal about myself. And he told me some stuff personal about him, like his real life name and his uh, actual age. So I know his age and I know his name. Now, why did I not share that in, in the Minecraft video? Now, the reason I didn't share that in a Minecraft video is due to privacy concerns. And I do I am concerned about his privacy. Now, when it comes to YouTube, when somebody's arguing with somebody on YouTube, it doesn't really give a shit about a name. If I even mention his name once in a video, I have to put either a link to his channel or I have to tag him in the video. That is entirely the rule of YouTube. I cannot mention his name whatsoever without doing that. So I'm down to talk to him whenever he's gotten over all of that random shit. I'm down to hang out with him again if he ever wants to. But to be completely honest, after one, making my friend cry, and two, he completely banned me for no reason. He says he believes in forgiveness. He's like, okay, I forgive you. And then after uh, a couple minutes, he's like, I'm banning you and you're never allowed back into the overtime. Okay, what the fuck happened in your head while I was away for just five minutes? I can't be at my keyboard every fucking 24 7. I can't be in my house 24 fucking 7. I have work to try and do. I, sometimes I'm in a call on VR chat and I have, when I'm in desktop mode, and I have to have my mic turned off so that I can do the call to get work. Now, I have to call in after I've called someone, confirmed a demo, and then confirmed a time and date. I gotta call into the office, let them know the time, the date, so that I can get paid for it. Now, if I'm only doing one a week because one out of every five people I call picks up their phone, you can see where I only get 20 bucks. Now, he said there's no job out there that only pays me 20 bucks. This job fucking pays me 20 bucks. I was going to ask him if I could do a demo with him since he was in the age range of who I'm trying to sell to. To be honest, people don't even have to buy anything from me. I get paid either fucking way. I get paid for just showing it and I get paid for just doing the demo if they buy something that's very expensive, I get that pay as well because I get the copay. And it's a really interesting aspect. And for sales, it's really weird and wonky. Now, people were questioning how I could live with myself if I ha and that if I have beef with him, I should not have made that video. I don't have beef with him. So. That video is pretty much valid to be there. So calm your ass down and fuck off. It's my channel. It's my life. You can fuck right off. Everybody has different friends and different likes and dislikes. Everybody has their own ways of doing things and their own ways of wanting to do something. See, when he wants everyone to do it his way, 
sometimes and he trusted me the most but i trusted him the most as well but when it came down to him being cruel to my friends and not even asking her what happened or what's going on he made her cry so i made an unlisted video of her apologizing to him and then i wiped the video entirely and he was like take that shit down you're gonna get me in trouble dude nothing would have happened if uh my fucking computer didn't shit over i tried to delete the video afterward but my computer completely froze because it was running too much shit at the same time now if i'm running vr i now know that if i'm running vr chat three mozilla firefoxes discord freaking team speak <clears throat> what else did i have running that day i believe i had my task manager open yeah i had my task manager open and i had all this shit open now it was up being my disc my disc my disc was going higher and higher and higher and higher and higher to the point where i couldn't do anything it was so slow i had to completely restart the computer and i play off of a laptop i do play off of a laptop now why am i doing this video in vr chat and not in minecraft because i had an issue with minecraft earlier and i have to rebuild my castle some of the stuff is still there like the signs are still there but the gravesite for Matty Rossiter is no longer there. Now Matty Rossiter was the second person I considered as a sister. She was one of the most nicest people I ever met. She's sort of like pink, nice, kind, sweet, always happy most of the time. There was nothing you could do to ever break Matty, which sort of made her unique in her own way. Now, a lot of people see her as an angel. I saw her as the Yes I Can Angel along with everybody else. Now, uh, it, it's basically hard to describe Maddie Roster in words, to be honest, because she was just so sweet, so kind, so nice. And Pink kind of gives me the same security that, uh, she did she was sweet she was kind she's always nice to talk to she always found a way to make me smile even when i try to hide that i'm not happy or smiling at all even if it was beyond the screen or or from different places pink would always find a way to make me smile even if it was just by a call she would find a way because I can honestly be having a, lie day, a bad day and I lied about it to her. But uh, I don't like mentioning my bad days. I will always say my day is good. Some days I'm actually telling the truth. Some days I'm telling a lie. <clears throat> now, if I were to think about it this way. The past couple days, I've actually been having bad days. Because... Uh, it's it's getting close to something that really upsets me so uh a lot of people don't notice it but i start to play my games less and less it, it sort of wound up fucking me over last year on youtube as well because i honestly forgot about my channel and never made any uploads it, it was just such a devastating thing to me that I don't like talking about it much I will only tell it to people who absolutely I trust and absolutely I know I can trust with the information Zodiac knows the information I know he knows the information of why I know he's well aware of what I almost did to myself in the past. Pink. Pink is sort of aware of what I almost did to myself in my past. Kepler from 187th is well aware of what I tried to do in my past. 
one of the high commands in 187th is well aware of what I tried to do in my past. Only a few handful of people actually know. Not even my parents. Not even my own sister. Not even my own brothers know what I was going to do. Because this is a secret I keep to only a select few. If I trust you enough, I will tell you what I almost did. But if I do not trust you enough, you will never figure out the secret. It is such a dark secret that I try to keep hidden from everyone. And I keep a good job on keeping that secret. No matter how hard you try to search for it, I will delete most of the messages that have to do with it. Now, continuing on with the story. I sort of went off on a tangent there, but back to Zodiac. Now, the day this all went down, the day uh, he blocked Pink, and th this all went down, uh, let's think about it this way. The video there was just for an apology. It was set to unlisted, basically meaning it's impossible to find unless you know what you're doing. Unlisted videos are hidden videos that a user can use in case they actually need to make it a public one. Like, they're emergency videos, to be completely honest. So, no one ever sees a ping from those videos, no matter if they're a subscriber or not. They will not see a ping from that video because it isn't unlisted. If it's set to private, nobody else can view it but you. So I had to set it to unlisted in order to send it to Zodiac. If I didn't set it to unlisted, he wouldn't have been able to watch the video at all. So I set it to unlisted and I deleted it off of my phone because I was restarting my computer because of everything. Now I completely got rid of, I believe I got rid of Overtone on my phone, I have no idea. But uh, if Zodiac's ever down to speak to me again or ever down to meet with me in VR chat, he knows my fucking Overtone, he knows who I am. He knows that I'm always down to fucking talk anything out. I tried to find two paths to two stories. I'm not the person who jumps to conclusions like he does. Like, he'll jump to conclusions, they were in a Discord call. Well, if they're in a Discord call, it means they're close friends. Not all of them have it out for you. They're in a Discord call. They're in a Discord call. They were in a Discord call. And they said they were making fun of- Well, pretty much, if they're a friend of the person, they can try to fuck over them me making new friends by lying and saying something that's untrue or unhonest to try and get you away from their friend. And I'm pretty sure that's what 90% of what happened was they tried to get them away. And like, if someone's having a seizure and you don't know it, uh, well he had a story about like a girl was having a seizure her ex came into the world and yelled at him to move away so basically he told me the whole entire story I'm not going to go through the entire story but he was a fat Goku so there was no possible way the, the light one the light seizures only work if it's actually with flashing lights. So, like with this, this might induce a seizure. It's a 50-50 shot, to be completely honest, because it's the flashing yellow. All the flashes. It could be like rapid flash, a slow flash. Stuff like that. In rare cases, it can be a solid color. Or somebody could have induced it by walking into the world with something very flashy. Now, you can't really tell for certain what condition each person has or what type it is. So, if someone's saying, oh, they're having a seizure, try to back away. Give the person some space. Maybe they don't want to hear your voice at the time being. Maybe they want to hear someone that they've known for a longer period of time. Because... What, what do you want to see when you wake up? 
most of the time if you're having a seizure. You're going to want to wake up to either a family member or a close friend that you've known for a long period of time. You're never going to want to wake up to, oh, I've only known this person for like two days or a few days and they're, they're who I'm waking up to, to see after my seizure. No, no one's going to want to do that if you're in the hospital. The doctors will normally allow one family member in with them. Why is that? Because they want the family member who they let in to be the person who greets them when they finally wake up. Now, they can all hear everything you say, every single word you say, even during the seizure or even if they're in a coma or even knocked out. You may think they can't hear you, but they can clearly hear your voice. No matter what you think, they can feel your kicks, your touch. They can also hear your voice every step of the way. <coughs> Sorry, need a water eventually. But he, he kept assuming a lot of people had it out for him. I mean, a person who uh, knows someone else for longer, they're going to want to look out for that person because they knew them the longest. Unlike you, who knew them for such a short period of time. You can know them for a short period of time and see them as a close friend, but you need to know them for like at least a month to know them a little bit well. But after a month, you only technically know 5% of what that person is about. Once you spent a year with them, you know 50%. If you've basically been knowing them for a couple of years you know a lot about this person you'll know about around 95 to 97 percent because everybody has secrets secrets they don't want you to know secrets that they keep hidden why do people keep secrets hidden because they're secrets they're stuff that the, they don't want other people finding out no matter what so uh that's going to be it for this video. I'm done. I honestly didn't really want to do this video at all. But the moment his sub started attacking me was the moment I kind of drew the line. It, it was the moment I drew the line because his subs attacked me on another video. And never once in that video did I say yeah, I didn't count him as a friend. I said I still count him as a friend. I count him as a lost friend in his mind. What I meant by that was basically he's so into his mind for work, he's not out of his mind trying to figure out what other people are doing, how they're doing, what they're up to, trying to make them feel more comfortable about around his friends. But he never at once thought I was uncomfortable at all. He's like, you don't help out in the overtone you don't do anything you know i don't do any much in the overtone because one you do everything for us what's the point of having an admin if the admins don't even get to do their job i don't even talk in it because one i'm watching them speak i like scroll down the shit every single day seeing what everyone was talking about up to recent when i was asleep if I caught something I I didn't understand, I might message them. I might not. Most of the time it was no message. But I hardly knew anyone in there. I didn't know them at all. The only time I ever met a few of them was from VR chat when I was in a room with him for VR chat. I'm gonna try and get to him eventually and actually physically have a civil discussion. Zodiac because I'm sick and tired of these mean comments from his subscribers on one of my videos and I'm sick and tired of you all saying how are you sleeping I never said once that I hated him or had beef with him I said I still considered him as a friend he's just a fallen angel that needs to find his way he 
messed with a friend that I considered a sister. It made her cry. Which upset me and upset her. So, this is going to be it for the video. And for anyone who has horrible, horrible comments, bring them the fuck on. Because I can handle anything you throw at me. That was, that was me standing up, switching from seated to standing plate. Then I do this, then I, no.